Have you ever stood in a wine aisle, brows furrowed, staring at two bottles that look nearly identical, same vineyard, same grape, even the same label, but one is twice the price simply because it's from a different year? Why does time seem to inflate the price of wine like it's gaining interest in a savings account? Today, we're opening a bottle of curiosity to answer a question that might have crossed your mind at a dinner party. Why does wine get more expensive as it gets older? Is it just snobbery in a glass? Or is there something truly special happening inside those dusty old bottles? So let's break it all down, right here on History of Simple Things. First, let's get one thing straight. Not all wine becomes better with age. In fact, around 90% of wines produced today are intended to be consumed within a couple of years after bottling. They're fresh, fruity, and made to be enjoyed now, not tucked away in a cellar for the next generation. These are your everyday table wines, and they don't necessarily improve with time. Actually, many of them can start to lose their flavor after just a few years. So when we talk about wine that becomes more valuable with age, we're dealing with a much smaller category. These are carefully crafted wines from reputable vineyards, often made from specific grape varieties and under particular conditions that make them age-worthy. So yes, there is a difference between the $15 bottle you grabbed at the grocery store and the $800 Bordeaux locked away in a temperature-controlled cellar. So what exactly happens inside that bottle over time that could possibly make it more valuable? It's not magic, although it might taste like it. As wine ages, its chemical composition evolves. The acids soften, the tannins mellow, and complex new flavors emerge. Think dried fruit, leather, tobacco, earth. Aromas can become more nuanced, layers more defined. In red wines, for instance, the harsh bite of youth fades and is replaced by a silky smoothness. White wines can develop honeyed or nutty notes. This transformation doesn't happen by accident. Winemakers carefully balance sugar, acid, tannin, and alcohol to create a wine that can gracefully evolve over time. Just like cheese or balsamic vinegar, the aging process brings depth. But achieving that kind of result isn't guaranteed. It requires precision during production and then patience, sometimes decades of it. Here's where the economics start to swirl into the glass. Imagine you're a winemaker. You've crafted a wine meant to age for 10 or 20 years. That means you're not selling that inventory anytime soon. Instead, it sits quietly in barrels or bottles, taking up space. You have to maintain storage conditions, cool, dark, and humid, to protect it. And over the years, that wine is literally evaporating bit by bit, a phenomenon the French call la part des anges, the angel share. That's a lot of time and money tied up in something you can't profit from immediately. And don't forget, space costs money. Climate control costs money. Insurance, labor, real estate, all of it adds up. By the time the wine is finally ready for release, the winery isn't just charging for the liquid in the bottle. They're charging for two decades of babysitting and the risk they took that the wine would even turn out well. As wine ages, especially in a limited batch, something else happens, it becomes rarer. Bottles are opened and enjoyed, some are lost to improper storage, and others just disappear from the market. What remains gains value simply because there's less of it available. This scarcity, combined with reputation, fuels the collector's market. A 1970s Barolo from a highly regarded producer? That's not just wine. That's a status symbol, a piece of history. Older vintages become trophies, often never even opened. The wine could be absolutely amazing, or it could have turned to vinegar. 
but at that point, its value is driven by more than taste. It's about story, rarity, and prestige. Another wrinkle in all of this is the concept of vintage, the year the grapes were harvested. Weather patterns change from year to year, affecting grape quality. A warm, dry season might produce rich, bold wines, while a cooler, wetter one could yield lighter, more acidic profiles. Some vintages age better than others, and those from legendary years can become highly coveted. Wine critics and publications often score vintages. A year that gets a 98 or 100 from a major reviewer can immediately boost the price of those bottles. Even before aging happens, the expectation of quality can drive prices sky high. And once that vintage proves itself with age, the price only climbs further. Now let's be honest. Some of the price inflation around aged wine isn't entirely about science or economics. Perception plays a huge role. There's something seductive about the idea of drinking a wine older than your kids or from the year you got married. The passage of time feels meaningful, and we project that meaning onto the bottle. There's also a kind of romanticism baked into the wine world. Whispers of dusty cellars, candlelit tastings, and secret vineyards passed down through generations. That emotional pull adds value, even if it's not measurable in milliliters or flavor notes. And of course, for those deep in the world of wine investing, aged bottles become assets. A bottle bought for $100 20 years ago could be worth $1,000 today if stored properly and backed by a strong pedigree. So is aged wine always better? That's subjective. Some people love the complexity and depth that time brings. Others prefer the bright, fresh notes of a younger bottle. And some just like a good label and a fair price. The point is, age can enhance wine, but it comes with costs, literal and figurative. You're paying for time, care, risk, scarcity, and a bit of mythos. Whether it's worth it depends on your taste and your wallet. So the next time someone offers you an older bottle and mentions the price tag, you'll know it's not just fermented grape juice with a birthday. It's a liquid archive of craftsmanship, time, care, and history. And while not every wine improves with age, the ones that do offer more than just flavor, they tell a story. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.